Let's take a look at the molecular geometry for NH3. This is ammonia. We'll also look at the bond angles and the electron geometry. So we need to start out with a valid Lewis structure. So this is a valid Lewis structure for ammonia. We have one, two, three hydrogen bonded to that central nitrogen atom, and we have this one lone pair here. So we have a total of one, two, three, four things. That's the steric number. And one of them, that's the lone pair here. So we have one lone pair. We go down, we go over, we have what's called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. And the ideal bond angle is 109.5 degrees. Let's take a look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be the central nitrogen. We have three hydrogens. So we have the three hydrogens and you can see they spread out to be as far away as they can from each other. Right now they're in a plane. So we have what's called a trigonal planar molecular geometry. But remember that lone pair. It occupies space, and when we add the lone pair, it forces the hydrogen atoms down. We end up with what's called a trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry. The ideal bond angle, again, is 109.5. For ammonia, the bond angle turns out to be 107, right about 107. Let's go back. We could also figure out the molecular geometry for NH3 by using the AXN notation. A, that's the central nitrogen, X, the number of atoms bonded, one, two, three hydrogen atoms. And then E, that's the lone pair. We have the one lone pair here. So AX3E, if you look that up on a table, trigonal pyramidal. If you want to look at the electron geometry, that would be tetrahedral because we have four things bonded to the central atom. This is Dr. B looking at the molecular geometry, the molecular shape for NH3, ammonia. Thanks for watching.